Hello, Audioholics. This is Logan, and welcome back to Audioholics Anonymous. Today, we are going to be doing another album review. This time, it is Liquid Tension Experiments' new album, LTE3. Sounds like I wonder what that having... stands for. Hey, Logan, what know. does it stand sounds for? Sounds like something having to do with a cell phone or something. Anyway, oh. here's something. Ooh. Here's something else. Uh, Liquid Tyler experiment oh real clever bud <laughs> yeah so liquid tension right. experiment is the well-renowned side project of mike portnoy of dream theater sons of apollo flying colors i could go on for days <laughs> uh jordan rudess of dream theater of course Ready? john petrucci yeah. of dream theater of course and the bass player from I Don't Remember, but he's good too. <laughs> so they released two albums in the 90s, the late 90s. They released one in 98 and one in 99, and they haven't put out anything for over 20 years. So you can imagine people were kind of freaking the fuck out when this came out. Like, the, you, you, you'd think Jesus came back with the amount of people freaking the fuck out about this album's release. And people talking about like Prague is so niche. Okay, so why did every single person on planet Earth know about this album when it was coming out? It was ridiculous. But it doesn't let me down at all. You know, the hype train was big, but it was worth it. It was great. Hypersonic is a fucking insane song, but Beating the Odds is clearly the best song on the album. I don't fucking care what you tell me, okay? Fuck you. That song is better than Rhapsody in Blue. That song is fucking awesome. Uh, Liquid Evolution, Passage of Time is also really, really good. I think that was the first song they put out. Uh, Chris and Kevin's A Meeting Odyssey is cool. Rhapsody of Blue, of course. Uh, that's kind of a famous song because back when they were touring from the first two albums, they played it live a lot. And they were like, oh, when's it ever going to be on an album? When are you going to put it on an album? They finally put it on an album. I hope people are happy. Uh, it's all right. Honestly, I've never understood the hype behind that song. Pretty good, though. Shades of Hope, probably the worst song in the album, but Key to the Imagination is, like, mind-blowingly good. So, what's good about this album? Well, refer to, to me listing the band members. You've got Mike Portnoy, one of the most technical human drummers in the industry right now. You're sure he's human? Well, he is pretty insane, but no, I just mean like a lot of drummers or a lot of bands and artists, I should say, don't have drummers. They program drums and live. Some guy just gets hired to play. And it's a shame, but you don't hear that when you listen to a band with Mike Portnoy. You hear fills and and mistakes even and things like that that make it sound like a human is playing an instrument. Isn't that kind of insane? People don't like robotic music. Uh, Mike, or sorry, not Mike, uh, John Petrucci. I mean, he's John Petrucci, you know, one of the best guitar players alive right now, one of the best guitar players who have ever lived. And he's insane, as always, playing amazing melodic lines, complex and simplistic riffs and solos. You've got the bass player who I still forget the name of. And I mean, who really cares? He's good though. Yeah. Oh, and the singer. Oh, yeah. wait, right. That isn't Pop notch <laughs> no, it's, it's a great album though. Like if you have a friend who's pretentious and an asshole and says that instrumental music isn't really music and that vocals are the only thing that matters in music, uh, shoot doing? them. But after that, show them this record, because I think if nothing else, they'll learn to appreciate what instrumental music can do. Great record. Definitely one of the best of the year. Check it out. I can assure you. So I, I, I as he implied earlier, very rudely, I do have kind of a bias against instrumental music. I don't think it's necessarily bad on principle. I just think that, you know, lyrics give an album or a song meaning whereas with instrumental music it's up to the listener to interpret their own meaning and granted you can do that with 
songs with lyrics as well. If you want a song that's up for interpretation, Bob Dylan has made an entire career out of that. But more so, I think that the instruments are just good. I mean, that's to be expected when you have three fourths of dream theater, but it's true. Um, I just think it's a really good album. I don't know if I would ever listen to it again. Uh, I, I mean, everything flows together flawlessly and there is a healthy amount of instrumental and musical variety. Not really my thing, but I, I mean, it's objectively a fucking flawless 10 out of 10 album. It's just really good. So that's really all I have to say. I mean, Tyler's basically said everything I reasonably could. So, all right. So, what did you guys think about uh, the new the new LTE phone? Tell us what you thought in the comments below. And without further ado, we bid you audio audio do. Bye bye. Five G causes coronavirus.